What's up y'all, my name is Ross Swinson. Today I'm going to teach you how to play the ending theme to Hey Arnold. Uh, the song is called Stompin' and it's super jazzy, a lot of fun. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for part one, we're in D minor pentatonic and we're not actually going to be in pattern one like we were in the last video. We're actually going to be in pattern five mostly. So that's kind of like that, uh, if you're familiar with that pattern. Um, so we're going to start on the 10th fret on the B string. So that's 10, 8, 10 on B, 10, 8 on E, 10 on B, and then 8, 10, 8, 10, 6, 8, and then 7 on the G string. And then from there, So that's on G and D. You're gonna start on the G string, seven, nine, and then nine D, nine G, and then move that down a fret, eight G, eight D, eight G. So then for the part right after that, you have, so this is, this is the same pattern that you just moved down two frets. Um, so starting on the G string, you have 9, 7, 9, and then 10 on B, back to 9 on G. And you just move that pattern down two frets, 7, 5, 7, 8, 7. Uh, and then right here, it's kind of a little diminished arpeggio type thing. So that's 6th fret G, 8th fret D, 5th fret D, landing on the 7th fret of the D string. Um, so that whole part goes like this. So then after you play that the first time, you just repeat it, you just repeat it, you just repeat it, and the ending is slightly different, so. And then you have this ending is going to be 6-5 on B, and then 6-7 on G. So that's it for the first big section. Alright, so for this next section, we're going to start off with some uh, syncing up with some orchestra hits that are in the song. So that's the main thing there. You have three different chords, all 10th fret on A, D, and G, and then all 12th fret. And then you have 8, 9, 9. So 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 8, 9, 9. So uh, the guitar in the song is actually doing some little licks in between those. So I tried to kind of combine them. So the first one, that's just an octave starting on F on the uh, D string. So that's 15th fret D string to 13th fret high E string and then pull off from 14 to 13 on B. And then the next lick, it's kind of an augmented, kind of weird sounding lick. So starting on the B string, you have 13, and then 15, slide back down to 13. Then G string 13, D string 14, A string 15. And then back to the D string to 12, landing on 15 on the G string. Okay, so so far in this section you have. Uh, and then right after that it goes back to this. So you don't have a lick in between that time, uh, you just have this D minor arpeggio. So you have 14 G, 15 B, 13 E, and then 16, 15, 13, 17. And then, oops. 
So that's 13E, 15B, 9B. And then it goes back to the, uh, the beginning part. So that whole section uh, goes like this. And then back to the beginning. Here's where it gets different. That little pattern I just did, you just keep moving it down. And then you finish off with. So that's just a C major arpeggio. 5, 5, 5. Just a 5D, 5G, 5B. Back to 7 on G. Um, and that's pretty much it. After that, you have the uh, guitar and the rest of the instruments kind of going back and forth with some uh, lead lines that are really fun, mainly in D minor or D melodic minor, D Dorian kind of stuff. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know in the comments what we should do next. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.